Greetings. My name is Tiffany Carlisle. Myself, along with my husband, Nick Carlisle, we are the youth pastors at the Word of God Christian Ministries located in Hampton, Georgia. We are also the founders of this summer camp. We act as summer camp directors, and we also have a staff who works under us to help us to bring our community as well as our congregation a quality and safe summer camp for children of all ages. I hope that you enjoy this information. We've tried to lay out all the pertinent information pertaining to summer camp in these slides. I hope that you will go through each one, listen to the uh, vocal information that I have provided, and I hope that it answers any questions and eases any concerns that you may have about summer camp. This is our second year. We started the summer camp in the summer of 2014. We did not have summer camp last summer, and we are returning this summer. Uh, we try to provide a safe environment for children. My husband and I have children ourselves, so we really value safety, security. We want to make sure kids have a good time and that they feel comfortable in our environment. I hope that you, after you go through these slides, that you are comfortable and that you are ready for the summer, that you go ahead and register your kids. The information for registration is in the slides. Our registration information is on our website. If you want to just go ahead and register, it's at www.com twogcm.org backslash summer camp. But I hope that you join us and in, in stick in the, the slides and listen to all the information that we have provided you. Thank you. When is summer camp at the Word of God Christian Ministries? Our summer camp will be held Monday, May 23rd through July 29th. Our summer camp is 10 weeks long with the exception of holidays. Summer camp will be closed on the following days, Monday, May 30th for Memorial Day and Monday, July 4th for Independence Day. Who can attend summer camp? We welcome all children rising to grades pre-K through sixth grade, whatever grade the child will be enrolled in in fall 2016. Children in pre-K must be four years old at the time of summer camp enrollment. What are the summer camp hours? Our summer camp is offered daily, Monday through Friday. Summer camp hours are 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. We do offer a full day program and half day program for all of our campers, with the exception of our pre-K campers. Pre-K campers ages four years old may only attend our half-day camp. There is no extended care offered for this age group. The reason being is because we get a special exemption from the state of Georgia licensing because we are a nonprofit organization. Our full-day camp is Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Our half-day program is 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Is extended care available? For those parents who may work early or work late, extended care is offered for children ages 5 and older. Morning extended care is offered from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Afternoon extended care is offered from 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Extended care is available for an additional fee. We will go over that fee later in the slides. How much is summer camp? How much is summer camp is one of the most important questions. How much will it cost you for your child to enjoy a fun-filled summer in a safe environment? The weekly tuition for summer camp is $85 weekly for the full day program and $65 weekly for the half-day program. Extended care is for an additional fee of $12 weekly for morning care and $20 weekly for evening care. What does summer camp tuition include? 
Summer camp tuition includes daily activities and events for each child, on-campus field trips for our Kindle campers, our youngest campers, which are ages four through six years old, off-campus field trips for our Spark and Flame campers. Those children are in grades second through sixth. Breakfast, snack, and lunch will be included at no additional cost. Will children be separated by age group? Yes, of course. All children will be separated by age group. Kindle campers are children ages four to six, our youngest campers. Our spark campers are for children rising to grade second through third. And our flame campers are children rising to grades four through six. Your child's health and safety is the most important thing at the Word of God Christian Ministry Summer Camp. Therefore, to ensure their safety and make sure that they are with their peers, they will be separated by age group every day, all day. What will the campers be doing each day? Part one. Our daily camp schedule will consist of arrival. When the children arrive, they will be encouraged to participate in arts and craft activities. Children are also encouraged to bring any summer enrichment schoolwork that they may have. Breakfast will be served to each child every morning. Following breakfast, we will have prayer, camp rules, and the character of the week lesson plan. This is a Christian summer camp, so each day we will pray to begin our camp day. After breakfast, the campers will congregate in an assembly. Each morning, the camp counselors will go over the camp rules. This is to maintain order and to make sure everyone is respectful and knows the rules. Finally, camp counselors will go over the, go over the character of the week. They will present a brief lesson on how to exemplify the character trait in everyday life and situations. The character of the week is designed to encourage positive behavior and healthy lifestyles. Examples of character traits of the week are patience. We want all of our camp, camp campers to be patient with one another. And secondly, another example is self-control. It's important that each camper is able to maintain self-control and self-discipline, and we want to encourage that. What will the children be doing each day, part two? After prayer, camp rules, and character of the week, the children will then be dismissed to participate in daily activities or field trips, depending on their age group and the day of the week. The campers will be dismissed according to their age groups. They will begin daily activities or depart for a field trip. Daily activities will include stations that have various arts and crafts, games in our state-of-the-art gymnasium, board games, puzzles, and other activities. Campers who are on field trips will travel on our church van to that destination. They will be carefully monitored and supervised by our camp counselors. We know how important it is for adequate supervision of children especially when they're away from our normal campsite, which is the church, the Word of God Christian Ministries. Therefore, our staff has been highly trained to supervise children and make sure they arrive at their destination safely, they have a good time, and they arrive back safely. Parents are welcome to chaperone any field trip that their children will be attending. Parents must pay for their own field trips but we highly encourage them to come out, participate, so they can see what's going on firsthand. Lunch will be served on campus or in sack lunches if the campers are on field trips. What will the children be doing each day, part three? After lunch, we have reading and quiet time. Campers are encouraged to read, work on any summer enrichment assignments they may have from school, or sit and rest quietly. Campers should bring their own educational and reading materials, and the materials should be appropriate for a Christian summer camp. 
daily activities will follow. After reading in quiet time or upon campers return from field trips, they will go right back into their stations to do daily activities. We mentioned daily activities on part two of what will the children be doing each day. Dismissal will usually follow this time. As we mentioned previously, camp will end at 3.30 p.m. Parents and guardians must pick campers up by 3.30 p.m. unless you have registered for extended care. For the safety of your campers, you must sign your child in and out daily. When signing your child out or in, please remember to have a photo ID. If you would like someone to pick up your child other than the person who normally picks them up, please have a written notification provided to us, the summer camp staff, the day before that person is scheduled to pick them up. If not, that person will not be permitted to pick your child up. Again, safety is of utmost importance at the Word of God Christian Ministry Summer Camp. Therefore, please cooperate with the photo ID as well as making sure we have written permission from you the day before someone else is scheduled to pick up your child. Please note, the same person may not always be at the sign out window. Parents, we really encourage you guys to be on time. If parents are not on time picking up their children and they have not been signed up for extended care, that parent will be charged for $1 each minute that they are late, according to the office clock. Again, summer camp does end at 3.30 p.m. So if you know that you're not going to be there on time, we suggest that you register your child for extended care. Even if, it, even if it's just for one week. How do you register your child for summer camp? We encourage all parents to register their child or children on our website at www.twogcm.org slash summer camp. We have put all the information online. So please go online and register your child. All information is online. We've had many parents call us, but we really encourage you to go online, look over the information. If you still have questions, you can email us or call us. There's a number that we'll share at the end of these slides. But please go online and register your child. Register as soon as possible as well. Our spaces are very limited because we want to maintain a small camp camper to camp counselor ratio. So please go ahead and register your child. We've already had families to register and we don't want your camper left out. We are This is our second year having summer camp. We will have an awesome summer camp. The kids have fun each time that they come. So please, in order to save your spot, Go ahead, register online. We'll send you an invoice and then you can pay your deposit. We'll talk more about payments, how much is due and when it's due. But go online after you watch this video, go online and go ahead and register your children up for this summer camp. How much do I need to pay when I register my camper? This is the most frequent question that we get from parents. How much do you need to pay once you register your child? Once you complete the registration form, you may send it to us via email attachment or you can fax it to us. Our email address is twogcmyouth at twogcm.org. Or you can fax it to us. The fax number is 770-471-1905. You can go online. Again, we encourage you to go online, get that registration packet, download it or print it out, email it or fax it to us. When we receive your registration packet, we will send you an invoice. We will try to send you an invoice within 24 hours. That invoice may be paid online or in person, but your spot will not be saved until you pay your first deposit. What will that first deposit include? 
the amount in order to save your space that is due is the registration fee, which is $25, plus a 50% deposit of your first week's tuition, plus a 50% deposit of your first week's extended care fee, plus a t-shirt fee of $10. If you are not doing extended care, please do not worry about it. You'll only have the registration fee, the 50% deposit of your first week's tuition, and your t-shirt fee. That is the amount that is due at the time of registration. Once we send you that invoice, it is imperative that you pay it within 24 hours or as soon as possible. That will reserve your campers space. If you are not going to be there on week one, if your camper will not be there week one, but we, your camper's first week will be week five, you still need to go ahead and register. We will send you an invoice and go ahead and pay that deposit amount. This, this entire amount that is described on this slide, that is what is due at the time of registration. The t-shirts are not included in the weekly price of tuition. Our Kindle campers, our youngest campers, do not necessarily need t-shirts, but it will be a nice addition for them to have so that they may remember summer camp for years to come. Our Spark and Flame campers must have a t-shirt for field trips. Again, safety is of utmost importance at the Word of God Christian Ministry summer camp. So we want to make sure that our Spark and Flame campers have t-shirts when they are away from our campus, when they are gone on field trips. So please include that $10 amount at the time of registration. These are the fees that are due. When will I have an opportunity to see the camp? All parents want to know where their children will be and what their children will be doing when they are away, when they are away from their presence. All parents are encouraged to attend our open house event. It will be held on Thursday, April 21st, 2016 at 7.30 p.m. Please, please, please RSVP on our 24-hour voicemail system. The number is 770 2840826 if you have any questions you will call that number and leave a message someone will return your call and our location is the word of god christian ministries at 1207 mcdonough road in hampton georgia our zip code is 30228 that open house will take place in our gymnasium. We encourage all parents, if you're on the fence about whether or not to register your child, this will give you an opportunity to see our facilities in person. Please come look at our facilities. You can register there as well. You can pay your deposit. So we really encourage you to come on out, see our facility, register your child for summer camp, and it will be a great event. We hope to see you there, but please RSVP um, so that we can get a head count of how many people will be attending and we would appreciate that so much. When will I get to meet the camp counselors? When will you get to meet the people who will be interacting with your child all summer long? Parents will have an opportunity to meet camp counselors at our parent orientation. Our parent orientation will be held on Monday, May 16th, 2016 at 7 p.m. in our gymnasium at the Word of God Christian Ministries. Again, we are located at 1207 McDonough Road in Hampton, Georgia, and our zip code is 30228. All parents who have registered their children are highly encouraged to attend that parent orientation so that you can meet our staff, you can meet our camp counselors, you'll know who you will be interacting with and who your child will be interacting with all summer long. For safety and security, our camp counselors are background checked, they're CPR trained, and they're staff trained. 
safety and security, the well-being of your children is of utmost importance at our camp. We have all our camp counselors background checked and CPR trained for your children's safety. So come on out to our parent orientation after you have registered. This parent orientation is for those who have registered only. So you can come out, you can get our calendar, you will get a daily schedule, and you will get to meet our staff. Questions and answers. Each year we get so many questions from parents. So we wanted to go ahead and put those here and also answer them audibly so that you can hear the answers to some of the questions that we get frequently. Frequently. The first question, is summer camp prorated during holiday weeks? Summer camp is not prorated during holiday weeks holiday weeks. The reason being we have made our summer camp very affordable. Breakfast, snack, and lunch is included. Your child's daily activities are included as well as field trips, whether those field trips are on campus or off campus. Question number two, do I have to register for all weeks of summer camp or can I pick and choose which weeks I would like my camper to attend? This is another question we get very often. You pick the weeks that you want your child to attend. If you have a child coming from out of state, if it's a family member, if you just have a busy schedule this summer and you only want your child to attend a week or two weeks, maybe one month rather than the other, that is up to you. Um, at the time of registration, we will send, send you an invoice with the deposit amount that we previously described, but that will reserve your space for whatever weeks that you choose. When you go online and look at our registration form, there are specific boxes that allow you to check off which weeks you want your camper to attend. Um, that is completely up to you. We do not require that you pay for every week. We do not require that you attend every week. But go ahead and register. Select those weeks that you would like your child to attend. And once you pay your uh, initial invoice, that space will be reserved for, for your child. Question number three. Is a sibling discount available? Yes. If you look in our registration packet that is online at our website, www.twogcm.org backslash summer camp, the sibling discount is listed. It's a 10% discount per, per additional sibling. Question number four, is transportation offered to pick up and drop, drop off campers to and from home? Unfortunately, we are not able to pick up children to and, and drop them off at their homes. Um, parents will have to provide transportation for their children, but we do provide transportation for field trips. Question number five, does the summer camp offer discounted rates for financially challenged families? We um, have decided to do... Um, handle financially challenged families by on a case by case basis. We have tried to make the summer camp as affordable as possible. It, it is mo one of the most inexpensive summer camps in the state of Georgia. However, it is one of the most quality summer camps. The reason we structured our pricing where it's at is because as a 501c3 church organization, we are not, uh, we, it is not a for-profit organization. We are doing this for the empowerment of the community and to give our children an outlet to have fun and to have safe activities to do during the summer. Therefore, the price is only $85 weekly tuition and $65. We even created a half-day program um, for families who may not be able to pay for a full day, there is a half day program at $65. So uh, we do provide financial assistance for financially challenged family, but it is very, very limited and on a case by case basis. 
Does the summer camp accept children with special needs? We do not want to turn away any child. It is, but it is very important for parents to disclose health issues or um, special needs when they register their child. We will do all that we can to facilitate your child and to make sure they have a pleasurable experience. However, we do not have specific training as it, as it pertains to certain special needs. Please disclose that information with us and then we can talk about it and move forward from that point. But our goal is not to turn away any child. Um, however, the safety and security of each child is of utmost importance. If your child takes medication during the day, there is a section in our registration package which is on our website that describes the details about medication. Children who have to take medication are perfectly fine. We um, have special uh, requirements that we use that our staff has been trained on in order to administer that medication. The final question, can campers bring video games and or cell phones? Campers are not allowed to bring video games. I know that some campers have cell phones for emergency usage. We will ask that those cell phones be put up or kept with their parents, leave them at home. The reason being is we want the children to engage with one another. We want them to make friends. We don't want them to be distracted by video games or cell phones. And also for the safety of our children, we don't want anything stolen. We don't want uh, children to watch derogatory or inappropriate um, um, images while they're at summer camp on their cell phones or on their video games. So we ask that you keep those things at home. If there is an emergency, your child will be able to use the phone and you as a parent are able to call your child. Also, we do have cameras throughout our facility where we are recording the activities of the children at all times. So please know that your children are in safe hands, but we do ask that the cell phones either be put away or that they just don't come to summer camp. And video games are not permitted at all. If a child brings them, uh, we will keep those with the camp counselor until their parents arrive. So we want to keep our kids engaged. We want to keep them active. We want to give them a quality summer camp experience. So we don't want them distracted by video games and cell phones. I hope that this answers some of your questions. If after you have read through all of the registration information that is on our website, again, our website is www.twogcm.org backslash summer camp. Please go over all the information after you download that registration form. And if you still have more questions, give us a call and leave a voicemail or email us.